Heart Murmurs This is a visual diagram that will help you memorize the different murmurs. So, here is S1 all the way to here, and here is S2 the same down to here. So, these are the systolic murmurs which occur in systole. These are the diastolic murmurs. They occur in diastole. And this is the continuous murmur. This is not a comprehensive explanation. It's just a review. So, the systolic murmurs can be like this. Hollow systolic example ventricular septal defect tricuspid regurgitation mitral regurgitation so they are heard at different areas but the sound is basically the same second we have this crescendo decrescendo murmur and it occurs in aortic stenosis and hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy third we have the mid systolic click followed by a murmur and this is the mitral valve prolapse click followed by a late systolic crescendo murmur then we have the diastolic murmurs this is aortic regurgitation it's high pitch blowing early diastolic decrescendo murmur this is aortic regurgitation Okay, also as a diastolic murmur, we have the mitral stenosis, opening snap followed by a late diastolic rumbling, and rumbling is a very low pitch sound. Last, the continuous murmur is the patent ductus arteriosus, it's continuous machine like murmur, it's loudest at S2, here is the loud is part of the patent ductus arteriosus murmur okay pay attention that aortic regurgitation will be similar to mitral regurgitation and mitral stenosis will be similar to tricuspid stenosis also aortic stenosis will be similar to pulmonic stenosis that's it it's a visual diagram please Look at it several times, it will be extremely helpful to you in exam.